Let's look at the Hayward Super Pump Variable Speed, the 230 volt dedicated model, and let's find out what the maximum flow rate I'm able to achieve is. I've got this set up right now running on a two inch suction line, actually two suction lines, one inch and a half, one two inch. And then we're just pushing through a 150 square foot cartridge filter. And then a two inch discharge line we'll be monitoring with a digital flow meter here. Let's go ahead and ramp this pump up all the way to maximum RPM, 3,450. And let's take a look at that flow rate. Actually, while we're here, let's take a look at that filter pressure. Just about 8 PSI. Just about right on 90 gallons per minute there. Pretty impressive. Top right number, 1.32 kilowatts of power consumption. That's 1,320 watts or 1,340 watts as it reads now. On the left, you see our 230 volt power supply, 8.38 amps. That's actually quite a bit of flow. I mean, considering it, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't pulling 2000 or it wasn't uh, consuming 2000 watts or more. Like some of these, these pumps that I've tested, they consume more power than that. And I've seen them move a little bit more in the way of flow, but not much more and certainly using a lot more power to do so. Very interesting. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.